Item number SCP-5744 Security Level 5 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Amida Risk Class Critical Special Containment Procedures SCP-5744 is currently housed in a classified large containment cell in Site-19. A VRT anchoring device must be kept inside the cell, attached to SCP-5744 at all times. If it is for any reason to breach containment, its recapture is to be of alpha priority, and all expendable resources must be spent to re-secure containment and prevent an XK end of the world scenario. If it cannot be recontained, then SCP-5744 must be left to roam the planet, as interfering is likely to further anger it. Description SCP-5744 is an extremely powerful entity capable of causing devastating amounts of destruction to human civilization. It is very scary! It seems SCP 5744's primary goal is to destroy everything it can, and seemingly nothing is able to prevent it completing this goal if it is not contained. SCP 5744 is capable of drastically altering its shape, mass, and even cellular or genetic makeup. Due to this ability, its primary objective can be carried out swiftly and effectively, making it extremely important that containment is not lost. It is believed that the entity is capable of causing humanity's extinction in a matter of days or even hours if it is able to escape. SCP-5744 appears extremely eager to escape custody, expressing high frustration to the Foundation, claiming it will destroy us first. Despite the reality anchoring the device being attached directly to SCP-5744 at all times, it still is able to carry out its shape-shifting abilities to a limited degree. The following is a list of all forms SCP-5744 has taken while in secure containment. In order of when SCP-5744 first materialized as them. An unknown large beast. An unknown winged scorpion. SCP-682. SCP-999. SCP-3000. Dr. Bright. 051 SCP-049 A giant amorphous entity SCP-5767 A small white cylinder Current form Notably, when SCP-5744 alters appearance, including into other anomalies, it gains its abilities. For example, it's able to regenerate limbs as SCP-682. Though these effects are dampened by the reality anchoring device, this ability further make it an immensely powerful entity. So SCP-5744 has not gained knowledge of any other anomalies that are presently contained by the Foundation or any other groups of interest. Recovery Log 5744 This file has been removed by the order of all five people. SCP-5744 is capable of communicating with researchers depending on its current form. Due to this, attempts have been made to reason with SCP-5744 and have a conversation with it. These attempts can be found in Interview Log 5744-1 and Interview Log 5744-2. Interview Log 5744-1 Interviewer Researcher Ox Interviewed SCP-5744 Begin log. Uh, uh, hello? SCP-5744 begins to resemble SCP-049, presumably to be able to speak. SCP-5744, are you able to speak? SCP-5744 implodes into a ball of fire, causing a site lockdown and Sector 5 of Site-19 is severely charred from the flames. End log. Following this log, SCP-5744 was reclassified as Keter and was moved to more secure containment. Interview Log 5744-2 Interviewer Researcher Davis Interviewed SCP-5744 Begin Log SCP-5744 and her morphous gel-like state Why am I here? 
you are dangerous to us. Yes, I am aware. Do you have any comment on what you did to Sector 5 during your interview last month? I will do it again. What? Well, SCP-5744 finally releases a burst of plasma-based fire. However, blast doors are shut in time so as to not have a repeat incident. Following interview 5744-2, speaking to SCP-5744 directly was forbidden under any circumstances. Incident Log 5744-1 On Beep 2012 SCP-5744 escaped containment in the chaos of a mass containment breach of Site-19. The entity headed directly west where it would likely intercept with multiple populated settlements and a major city. MTF Unit Gamma-6, Land Wales, and Gamma-7, Desert Defenders, were assigned to deal with the threat. 37 minutes. SCP-5744 breaches containment. 1 hour 12 minutes. SCP-5744 leaves Site-19 and begins heading west for unknown reasons. 1 hour 13 minutes. Gamma 6 and 7 are assigned to containing the entity. 1 hour 30 minutes. MTF forces make visual contact with the entity, which has taken the form of a beep. 2 hours. MTF forces were able to get within firing range of SCP-5744 and slow it down with explosives. 5 hours. After 3 hours of constant bombardment, MTF forces request resupply, which arrives shortly. 5 hours 45 minutes. SCP-5744 turns around and assumes the form of a large dragon and becomes impervious to firearms. 6 hours 16 minutes. SCP-5514 is dispatched to deal with SCP-5744. 7 hours. SCP-5744 destroys the nearby town of Reducted leaving a large crater behind. SCP-5514 arrives on the scene. 7 hours 30 minutes. SCP-5744 underestimates SCP-5514, which promptly blasted with its Beowulf secret whale. After a battle spanning approximately 28 minutes, SCP-5514 emerges victorious, and SCP-5744 is restrained and brought back to Site-19. SCP-5744 is one of the most dangerous objects in the world, let alone in Foundation custody, and can destroy everything it wishes. It is definitely not cute! Addendum 37441 Item number SCP-5744 Security Level 1 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures under no circumstances must SCP-5744 discover the existence of or read this article. SCP-5744 is kept in a 3 meter by 2 meter by 4 meter room in Sector 4 of Site-19 with a window for viewing. A pedestal is located in the center of the room that SCP-5744 is to be placed on so it is visible from the viewing window. Note, refrain from speaking about SCP-5744 directly outside the window, please. Description SCP-5744 is an invo-hazardous entity that takes the appearance of a standard white marshmallow with a drawn-on smiling face. SCP-5744's primary anomalous property occurs if it discovers the existence of or reads any text, audio, video, or for the, the collection of itself, where it gains an innate sense of how it is described. When it discovers this, SCP-5744 has the ability to freely alter how it is presented, and if it's described in a non-threatening manner, it will be altered to be as though the entity is extremely hostile and has the ability to cause an XKN of the world scenario though it usually unintentionally leaves behind clues that the text, audio, video, or photo has been altered. Its origin is unknown. SCP-5744 is, in reality, completely harmless. It is capable of limited mobility, including small hops, swaying gently, 
and falling on its curved side to roll. Recovery SCP-3744 was discovered by Agent Addison during her break in the staff room in Site-19. She recalls consuming marshmallows at a table when she pulled SCP-5744 out of the bag. She supposedly exclaimed, Ah, oh, it's cute, at which point SCP-5744 had angry eyes and a frown appear on his face. Startled by the sudden change of appearance, Agent Addison dropped SCP-5744 on the ground and it attempted to escape by running out of the room. It was stopped by Site Director Beep, who had it studied and assigned classification as an anomaly. The company that created the bag of marshmallows has been questioned and had their entire inventory search. They remain clueless of SCP-5744's existence throughout the interrogation and no other instances were discovered. Following this, while Researcher Gray was writing a report on the incident, he had SCP-5744 in the room. Due to this, Researcher Gray could see the words on the page altering as he was writing. At this time, SCP-5744 displayed its angry face. By the time the researcher had attempted to finish writing the report, SCP-5744 had already changed it to a story about how it destroyed London with nothing but a trumpet. The researcher then attempted to write another report about the event while SCP-5744 was not present, leading to the text remaining the same. When SCP-5744 was exposed to the writing, it became upset and changed it again. SCP-5744 was transferred to a containment cell shortly after. Addendum 3744-2 SCP-5744 recently learned of the existence of its documents. This is due to some level 1 researchers reading the documents directly outside the window of the room. SCP-5744 could hear them clearly and has altered all of its files. Thankfully, thankfully, Researcher Gray has offered to rewrite these articles and create a new file about the anomaly. Note from Researcher Gray. Please, please be careful talking about SCP-5744 near it. I've had to spend literal hours of my spare time fixing these articles. It's actually gone ahead and altered the fixed article back to stupid kettle when again. I guess it has a sense of any changes made to the original documentation too. Just be mindful, okay? I would find so about this second file about itself. I'm going to actually lose my mind. All this time and effort just becomes of a literal self-conscious marshmallow.